It's not exactly dead on arrival, but Overwatch 2 did have a bit of a rough launch. Let's get into it. Overwatch 2 launched marred by ongoing DDoS attacks. So yeah, um, when the game uh, servers launched, uh, not only was there long queues, but there was a DDoS attack affecting people from getting into the game. It's like, like doing something differently or something. I'm not sure how it's working. Hold on, I have no audio. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know if it's working differently for different people or whatever. <clears throat> uh, you know. I guess we'll see. Okay. Alright, everyone. Darkside Phil here, and welcome to the incredibly exciting launch of Overwatch 2. Also known as the launch of Street Fighter V resonating a lot with me of game launches that I've tried to be a part of in the past and flopped miserably. <clears throat> I kind of expected a lock Rocky launch in all honesty though. Is it's a multiplayer, ex ex it's exclusively multiplayer. Uh, and it is kind of a bigger franchise. You see, Overwatch 1 may have had a dramatic drop in players, but you, you hear there's an Overwatch 2 coming. Uh, you kind of expect uh, people to flock back to it and you know check it out. Is you know they were they were fans previously and they're fans again. I want to check it out, but I I, I kind of knew day one was not the day to check it out. I wanted to wait until it was actually uh, not full of uh, players trying to get in and the servers were you know, getting stuffed. So yeah, let's read more of this article. One of the biggest games of the year is off to a rocky start, to say the least. Overwatch 2, the follow-up to 2016's colorful bully multiplayer shooter, is cut from the same cloth, extending the life of Blizzard's mega hit without reinventing the wheel outright. But ever since Overwatch 2 went live on Tuesday, it's been beset by problems, including a DDoS attack that created launch day play Unfortunately, we are experiencing a mass DDoS attack on our servers. Blizzard Entertainment and President y Mike Weibar confirmed yesterday on Twitter. So yeah, DDoS attacks. Um, I imagine these are people who are kind of disgruntled by the fact that Overwatch 1 is gone. And we now can only play Overwatch 2. It, It is unfortunate that a version of the game that a lot of people still did love is, is gone. And it's been replaced. That's that's the problem with these forever game markets. I don't even know why they're calling it Overwatch 2 at this point. Is It's really like, there's no Overwatch 1 really anymore. It's only Overwatch 2. I'm, and I remember when they were first, first announcing this game, they were saying Overwatch 1 players were going to be able to play with Overwatch 2 players. Like, it was, uh... It was like some sort of, like, cross-game play type thing. But I guess that didn't work out, and they just decided we're going to do Overwatch 2. Overwatch 1 is gone. Done. Even man players who managed to get into the server had problems, including getting dropped from matches and other kind of launch day instability that made playing challenging, if not impossible. Blizzard's Overwatch game director Aaron Keller issued an update on Twitter yesterday, but things weren't looking much better, according to Keller. A second DDoS attack didn't work, and the servers still aren't stable. stable. We're steadily making progress on server issues and stability as well as working through the second DDoS attack. We're all hands on deck and we'll continue the work throughout the night. Thank you for your patience. We'll share more info as it becomes available. Now this is, this is all kind of uh, older news I'm covering. Uh, you know, Overwatch 2 just launched yesterday. So, Although this looks more recent, this was 12.30am last night. Uh, well, this morning, I mean. Not last night, last night would imply it was the other day. Um, but yeah, it, it's it feels like there is a, a bit of a, a bit of a problem with Overwatch Two so far. But I'm not gonna hold this against the game just yet until you know it's been out for a few weeks. If there's still server issues after like uh, you know three weeks, 
that's an issue. Uh, I, I, but I fully expect it to, uh, I fully expect it to, uh, improve. So yeah, Overwatch 2 is experiencing launch issues. It's, um, it's, uh, you know, something I expected. No multiplayer game, unfortunately, these days goes without a hitch. There is bound to be issues. I remember when I was first logging into New World and I had to wait into a, wait in a queue. That's where I kind of learned... Maybe I should just uh, wait on these games. But, yeah, it seems like it's more than just player a player base, though. It's, uh, it's fucking, uh, people DDoSing the servers for some odd reason. And, uh, I don't know why they're... Actually, I think the biggest reason why is they're probably disgruntled that there was massive changes made to the game, and the fact that you can't play the first one anymore really makes it unfortunate. Like, there's still elements of the first one in there. They're just custom games now. You won't be able to play them, like, in official competitive capacity. And, yeah. I mean... There's been a lot of changes to the way uh, Overwatch 2 works. It's a 5v5 now. Uh, and it's now free to play. So it's instead of focusing on, uh, you know, paying to play, it's got a battle pass system where you unlock uh, skins and other cosmetics like and in-game currency, stuff like that. And a lot of people aren't excited about that. I mean, before it was a loot box system, but I'm pretty sure the loot box system before kind of uh, just stopped becoming profitable because uh, of the UK's law on it. Is uh, Yeah, there was a whole big thing on loot boxes a few years ago. And uh, a lot of games had to change for the times, including Overwatch, I believe. So, yeah, I don't think this is exactly a sign of th something too bad. I think it's just the early launch uh, bugs, you know, so it, the early launch server issues. Uh, and that's mixed with a DDoS attack that's just uh, making it so much, so much harder to play. We'll have to see how this develops. We'll see if the game actually becomes playable. I haven't given it a try yet. I'm probably gonna have to give that a try tonight to see what happens. But until then, um, I guess play TF2. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. I just did the uh, the video, the end of Overwatch 1. And uh, I'm working on a bigger video right now, but I figured this would just be good filler for the week. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that's all I got for today. Have a good day. Like, if you like the video, maybe subscribe. Actually, I just hit 260. I'm kind of happy about that. It's been stagnant for years, and I'm all of a sudden gaining subscribers left and right. So it's been, it's been pretty cool. I hope they stick around.